It is 6.42 a.m. Friday morning. I just finished packing all of my stuff up and now I need to get all the ponies fed so that we can go to a horse show. We basically have not shown in like two months. I mean, technically it hasn't been two months yet because it's still October and we just didn't show in September, but it's like the very end of October. So basically it's been two months. So it feels a little weird to be doing all of this, but here we are. It's time to horse show again. I am taking Kane and Bacardi. No idea how that's gonna go. They were a little fresh yesterday. So we're just gonna hope for the best. And then Marco and Roxy are going. Really just ready to eat dinner tonight. It's not even 7 a.m. and I'm already thinking about dinner tonight. I put the horses that are going to the horse show in the, hi pony, in the indoor last night so that they could have a little bit of turnout because my two horses are really quite fresh and I'm not, not loving that. <laughs> that is currently, boys. It is currently cold, rainy, and incredibly muddy out, and Kane was out like two days ago and he pulled a shoe, but we got the shoe back on him, so all good there. But I don't want that to happen, so they have been indoors. I'm really hoping that them just being out with like their buddies will just help them settle down a little bit so that we can be nice, well-behaved boys at the horse show this weekend. He just shook his head no, so that's a fantastic sign. I gave them tattoos. <laughs> Safe to say I'm not gonna be a tattoo artist. What does yours say? Spread monkey. Cool and calm, cause that's Bella. <laughs> You can. Do you seriously not remember last time? You gotta practice. Just go slow. If you're concerned about hitting something, please stop. I'm spider monkey. Bella has to wipe her butt. Bella, why didn't you wipe when you were done? It is about 9.15, the horses are all loaded. We are about ready to start driving. My horses are a little impatient, moving around back there. So I'm gonna get everything set up in here and we are heading to the horse show. Dude! <laughs> <laughs> you cannot be serious right now. I would, but the I need to go to the bathroom. I just oh my 
Hello. I hate pork chops. And Athena. And maybe Kinder. Once we got the trailer unpacked and Bella got her boots on the correct feet, we started schooling the horses. I started with Kane and just decided to lunge him first because he's been a little fresh lately and I wasn't really trying to die. The next one I'm on is Roxy and she had a school in both rings tonight because I was planning to show her in the big ring this weekend and then Bella was going to do cross rails on her in the little ring. After I was done with Roxy, Bella hopped on her for a few minutes just to school some of the cross rail lines, but I also let her jump some of the two foot jumps, which up until this point is something that she hadn't done at a horse show on her own pony, so kind of a big deal tonight. The next one is Marco. I've really been working on his lead change, so you'll see me school that a couple times tonight, and I was pretty excited that he was actually getting it at a horse show. And then he also schooled whatever jumps were set at two foot, which is something that he really hasn't done at a horse show since coming back from his injury, but I'm probably gonna need another short syrup pony soonish, so I just thought it would be good for him to see something besides cross reels. Bella was also going to show Marco in cross rails this weekend, so she hopped on him after me just so she could jump some things on him, and she also got to jump some of the two-foot stuff on him tonight as well, which is something that she hasn't done on him at a horse show yet, so she had a really good night schooling. And then after Bella was done, Chloe got on him. She was just going to do walk trot on him this weekend, but I did let her jump some cross rails tonight because it's good for her and she will be moving up soon.
The last one I had to school tonight was Bacardi. For those of you that don't know, he had a stifle injury last summer and because he is such a nervous and quirky horse, it's been a little difficult getting him back to horse shows again. The first time I had him back out since his injury didn't go very well. We couldn't even make it past a trot in the schooling ring, but of course it didn't help that at the time I was going through my own confidence issues with riding. I was quite frankly just terrified to be on the back of a horse after a really bad fall and it was something I was working through the last time I had him at a horse show. So it definitely helped us this weekend that I'm starting to feel like myself again on the back of a horse and not panicking at every wrong step. So yeah, tonight definitely went a lot better for us than it did the last time we were at a horse show. We were both a lot more relaxed. And honestly, Bacardi felt really great in the schooling ring. So I was like, you know what? Let's just go see how he feels in the show ring and maybe we can jump some things out there. It is like 5 a.m. I stayed in the trailer last night. It sucked. Couldn't take a shower. Water was cold. Also smelled like bleach, which is sadly a lot better than it smelled the last time I was in the trailer because it smelled like rotten egg then. I just put all of my stuff in my truck. I booked a hotel last night, so I have a room for this evening. I will actually be able to take a shower, I hope. As soon as we're done showing today, I'm unhooking my trailer and hopefully... Oh no. I don't even know where my lights are at on in here. Why is just everything unfortunate for me? Why do I not know where my lights are at? There we go. I just realized that nobody trusted me with the key to open the tax stall, and I'm probably gonna be the first one at the barn. And I don't have a key to the tax stall because nobody trusted me with it. So that's actually not good. That kind of is gonna be really bad so i am gonna head to the barn but i'm not gonna be able to do anything because the tax cell is locked i don't know why nobody trusted me to keep track of a key i can't get my light to shut off it's really big on. finally got the light off um the fact that i struggle turning lights on and off in vehicles probably why i wasn't trusted with the key My morning started by lunging all of the ponies while the girls stayed back in the barn to pick through all the stalls and get the ponies fed. When you were last mean to me? <laughs> two months ago. Uh, two hours ago. The morning was a little rushed because the walk trots were the first classes of the day, so it was all hands on deck getting Marco and Chloe ready to go to the ring. The cross rail in her saddle was right after the walk trot, so Bella also came up with Roxy. <laughs> as soon as the under saddle was done i got bella on marco because i wanted her to jump him first so we got him ready and then she went out to the ring and did her trips and then as soon as we were done with marco she immediately had to get on roxy and go do the same thing with her Good job, spider monkey. I'm making Gorgia. Awesome. Once we were done in the cross rail ring, we had a little bit of a break before we had to come up for the open under saddle. Since I was doing Kane and Roxy in the same division, that meant that I couldn't hack both ponies, so 
Bella had the job doing the under saddle on Roxy. Kane felt pretty good in the warm up ring, like he was decently relaxed. So I was like, you know what? This under saddle may be great for us today. But as soon as he gets out to the show ring, he just kind of loses his mind because there's horses out there that are also doing things. And that's just a lot for him to handle right now because he's not used to being at horse shows anymore. I really, really didn't think Kane was getting a ribbon in that under saddle because there was some pretty bad moments, but he did settle down going to the right. So that might have helped him out a little bit. But anyways, after that class, he had to come back to the warm up ring and just have a moment to chill out. And then I started getting him ready to go jump. This weekend wasn't perfect by any means with Kane, but he did just randomly figure out how to do his left to right lead change in the show ring this weekend. So even though the ribbons may not show it, I consider this weekend a big win because we've been working on that left to right change for a while and he's just never really got the hang of it. You know, he's always had the right to left change. That's been great. But the left to right change he struggled with and he got it right like 85% of the time this weekend. As soon as I was done with Kane, I got on Roxy so that she could go jump. This is Roxy's first trip and I'm really happy with everything except for that very first jump that you guys just saw. It was just a little slow and a little sticky and I would have liked to just maybe left the ground from a bit further away which is something that I've been working on with her. I'm trying to find a bit more of a gap so that she'll jump a little better. It's definitely hard with her because she wants to pull you right to the jump, but really worked on it this weekend and I think I made some improvements. And then here's our second trip. Again, I was pretty happy with everything in it except for one jump, which wasn't the first jump this time. It was the very last jump. I just put her a little too deep to the very last jump and it wasn't as pretty as it could have been, but all in all, I'm really happy. I think I made some of the changes I wanted to make with her and she was definitely jumping a lot better. But yeah, it was a pretty good day horse showing. Roxy was second in both of her trips. All the horses were honestly pretty good except for Kane and his under saddle when he just decided to be the goofiest animal alive and everything just went really smoothly like i had no ring conflicts which like never happened so it was just a very nice relaxed horse show day i mean as relaxed as you can get at a horse show when we were done showing for the day i hopped on bacardi just to go play around on him in a warm-up ring and see how he felt I didn't have him entered in a class until Sunday. Honestly, I had no real expectation of actually showing him this weekend, but since he was being so good, I told myself that if he still felt good today, then I would go ahead and plan on trying to show him tomorrow as long as the course wasn't too wild or anything. He was really great again today, even when he had to wait around for them to drag the ring.
After all the horses were done for the day, we went through their stalls again and gave them all another bag of shaving so they would be nice and comfy for the night. And then I had to run over to a tack store before they closed so that I could try on tall boots and figure out what size would fit, which I did end up finding a pair of tall boots, so it was a very expensive weekend for me. Are you filming? Yeah. Duh. Dad! Don't you dare do it to me. Moo. Beep beep. <laughs> Don't you dare. No, no, no. No, no, no. Don't. Do you want it? Okay, I'll keep it. Beautiful. You need bottom braces too. We're done. I have made it to my room. It is significantly larger than the trailer was. I have a lot of space. I am about to take a shower, get ready for dinner, and not feel as disgusting as I do right now. I am so excited to take a shower and not be on a time limit and have warm water, I hope. It's time for dinner. I'm so excited to eat. The real test for me today is, can I get all of this stuff to my truck in one trip by myself? <laughs> so, I got it, I have everything. Let's go to the horse show. The morning started off the same with getting all of the ponies lunged and since I was planning on showing Bacardi, I did go and hand walk him around the ring just to let him see everything again. Bacardi was the first class of the day today and none of our other horses were going to be showing anytime soon so it worked out really great and I could just be really relaxed and focus on making this day go well for Bacardi. Today was a speed class which is what Bacardi is best at so I was excited about that but I wasn't riding to be quick or to win. I just wanted to get him around and have this be a good experience for him because it's been a really really long time since he's been in the show ring. He was really great. I'm so happy with how this weekend went with him. I had so much fun being back in the show ring with him. It's something that I've really, really missed and to just be back out there was awesome. Even if it was just a little two foot jumper class, it didn't matter. I've worked so hard to get this horse rehabbed and just back to this point. So it was a really great day for the both of us. Her service cat, service dog. I don't have a service dog. I have a service cat, and her name is Chloe. She's also a human and not a cat. Definitely ask for no salt, right? I forgot. Bacardi got some treats because he was very good today.
Our morning was really laid back with just Bacardi showing and then once he was done there wasn't really anything to do, but once the afternoon came, things got a little hectic. I had horses that needed to be in both rings at the same time, which never fails. I mean, that's horse shows for you, but it still stresses me out and it probably always will because I really, really hate to hold rings. Once their flat classes were done, I hopped on Roxy because she was who we had up here and ready to go, did a couple warm-up jumps on her, and then headed to the ring to get her done. As soon as I was done with Roxy, I hustled my butt back to the barn to get a saddle on Kane and get him up here to jump. This is Kane's full second trip. I don't love my distances going into the lines. I just need to figure out my eye on him again and then we'll be able to start putting in more consistent trips like we used to. But anyways, that's not really the point. That's not where I was going with this. I just wanted to say I'm really happy with him because, well, he finally started to chill out a little bit, but he also got his left to right change every single time in this trip when he needed to. So that is a step in the right direction. It's also gonna take so much pressure off of me when I show him because I've always had to make sure he lands right when I need him to be on his right lead because the left to right change just wasn't there. So if he does really remember how to do his left to right change at horse shows now, it's gonna make my life so much easier because if he doesn't land right, then it's fine because the left to right change is there now. Once Kane was done, I hustled my butt back to the cross rail ring. We got our two ponies that are in cross rails done. And then just like that, we were done showing for the weekend. What'd you get? Champion. On who? Oh my god. And what? Crash Good job. Are you excited? Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 